As per pictures published on social media platforms, donated FH-70 155mm towed howitzers have been deployed by the Ukrainian Army. It's unclear from which country these were received and in what numbers. Viewers may note that on May 15, 2022, the Italian government approved the delivery of the FH-70. So, there is a possibility that these are transferred from the Italian Army stocks, which has around 100 of these. Some reports also indicate that Estonia has supplied an undisclosed number of this system out of its inventory of 24 to Ukraine. FH-70 joins M777, Caesar, and PZH-2000 in the front lines. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how FH-70 155mm towed howitzer entering the war is alarming news for Russia. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN is a premium VPN service available for Mac OS, iOS, Windows, and Android with more than 5,400 servers in 60 countries. But why use a VPN or virtual private network? VPN is an encrypted tunnel. A VPN can protect your privacy, which is threatened by many factors like data logging by Internet service providers. It can also help you access contents which are blocked based on geolocation. Why NordVPN? Its servers are fast and has zero log policy. Not only this, NordVPN has taken one step further and recently introduced a new feature, threat protection. Threat protection prevents malware from getting on users' devices and blocks trackers, intrusive and malicious ads, and harmful websites. Use the link in the description to get up to 71% off the two-year plan plus threat protection for no extra cost. At the checkout, use the code DEFENSE to get an extra month for free. Ukrainian forces have effectively used systems like Enlaws, Javelin, and Stugna P in urban setup. But in the Donbas region, where the main fighting is taking place now, longer-range weapons like artillery are critical. As noted by U.S. Press Secretary for the United States Department of Defense, John Kirby, earlier, the land there is flat, rolling plains, and conducive to using long-range fires. He said, the terrain lends itself to the use of artillery, and we know that the Russians also believe the same thing because we are seeing them move artillery units into the Donbas as well. So we want to give the Ukrainians every bit of advantage that we can. They specifically asked for artillery support. According to reports, Ukraine has already started using the FH-70 against Russians on the Eastern Front. The FH-70 is a towed 155mm howitzer developed by an international consortium, which included Vickers Limited in the UK, OTO Malara in Italy, and Rheinmetall GmbH in West Germany. It was also manufactured in all three of these nations during its decade-long production run, and it was also produced in substantial quantities in Japan. The howitzer is normally towed by a five-tons military truck that also carries the crew and ammunition. It's also equipped with an APU auxiliary power unit, allowing the FH-70 to move on its own and enabling a shoot-and-scoot ability, which is an artillery tactic of firing at a target and then immediately moving away from the location from where the shots were fired to avoid counter-battery fire. The barrel is 39 calibers long, giving 827 meters per second standard maximum muzzle velocity. The loading system is semi-automatic and consists of a loading tray and an automatic tube loader which operate at an elevation of traversal. The FH-70 uses conventional sights with an electronic display. It's crewed by eight men, while the minimum detachment is four men there is no gun shield. The FH-70 can be towed on a road at a maximum speed of 100 km per hour, or 62 miles per hour. Importantly, the towed FH-70 can use its onboard VW engine 
to move up to 20 kilometers or 12 and a half miles at low speed on its own without being towed. FH-70 allows for a continuous rate of fire of two rounds per minute, rapid fire over a short duration of up to six rounds per minute, or a burst fire of three rounds in 13 seconds. A fully automatic system with a flick rammer was also offered for the FH-70, which allowed the firing of three rounds in only eight seconds. The FH-70 can fire all the standard 155mm NATO ammunition. Depending on the projectile, it can hit targets at a distance of 30 kilometers or 18 and a half miles. Standard rounds include the L15A1HE, which is a thin-walled 43 and a half kilogram or 95 pounds projectile with an 11.3 kilogram or 25 pounds explosive charge. This remains the largest HE load for a standard 155 mm shell. Extended range projectiles include U.S. Army's M549A1 RAP HE round and the RB30 Extended Range Base Bleed ERBB. The U.S. Army's laser guided M712 Copperhead Cannon Launched Guided Projectile CLGP round is also compatible with the FH 70. Russian forces have rectified some of the major follies of their initial thrust. They are now putting in a much more coordinated effort, backed up by a huge amount of resources, to achieve breakthroughs. While Ukrainian forces are showing immense resolve and ingenuity, Russia does possess an upper hand in firepower. This is why Ukraine needs heavy weapons. The more, the better. The introduction of the FH-70 would help balance the mismatch to an extent. Though artillery is seemingly old-fashioned, they are and will continue to play an important role on the battlefield in the foreseeable future. An artillery barrage will keep the enemy's head down and provide opportunities for the infantry to advance under cover. Artillery barrages have also been known to have a psychological impact by demoralizing the opponent. It's cheaper and faster than air support and is now way more accurate as compared to the old days. FH-70 is an impressive piece and its compatibility with a large number of standard shells will reduce logistic issues. If received in significant numbers, it would surely be a major headache for Russian forces. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.